everyone, I'm Allison Smith and Happy New Year. We are so happy to have you here with us from the EnergyCast studios in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. This month's big story highlights a significant milestone in cleanup efforts at Y-12. The second phase of demolition at the Alpha 2 complex is underway, starting with the largest structure tackled to date at the site. We were on site as this historic teardown began. This demolition is not just notable for its size. It's also historic, as it marks the first teardown of a former uranium enrichment facility at Y-12. OREM manager Jay Mullis explained why this project is significant. Getting this out of the way allows us to open up the footprint to allow Y-12 and NSA to come in behind us and start modernizing and they have plans to do that. Alpha 2, the Manhattan Project era building covering 325,000 square feet, had long posed contamination risks. Its removal eliminates hazards and opens the door for mercury cleanup efforts in the area. This is our first major building down next to the creek that was in the mercury area and will we'll signify the start of that mercury cleanup in a big way out here. Eugene Sievers, the Y-12 site manager, reflected on the significance of the efforts underway. Very glad to see the skyline change on the south side of the site. Uh, while I'm sad to see the Calutron buildings go, uh, it, it is time for us to have new modern facilities for our workforce. EU Corp president and CEO Ken Ruder expressed how rewarding it is to reach this stage in the project. For, for me, one of the most rewarding things is when we successfully complete what I call the first th three D's of the job. So that's the, you know, decommissioning, decontamination, and ultimately deactivation. So it's essentially getting the building cold and dark or safe for workers to go into it, and then beginning to do all the hazard abatement, universal waste removal. Uh, you know, those are the unsung heroes. They're inside the building, hundreds of them. We don't see them working multiple shifts, successfully managing the hazards to get us to the kind of the really excess, um, exciting part to watch the heavy equipment bring it down. The demolition effort is expected to be completed by 2027. The demolition of the Alpha 2 building is just the beginning. OREM has lots of projects on the docket in the months ahead that will continue transforming the Y-12 National Security Complex and Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Sarah Hellemans highlights the progress you can expect to see in 2025. In 2025, OREM will continue its focus on taking down old and contaminated facilities across the Oak Ridge Reservation. This effort is eliminating risks and opening land to support research and national security missions. One major project is demolishing the final hot cell structure from the former radioisotope development lab in the heart of ORNL's campus. Workers will continue preparing more than a dozen facilities for future demolition, including reactors and former uranium enrichment buildings. OREM is also steadily working to eliminate the remaining inventory of uranium-233 stored at ORNL. Last year, contractor Isotech processed over 90 canisters of high-dose material, and they'll continue providing medical isotopes for cutting-edge cancer treatment research in the year ahead. OREM will continue its efforts to reduce Oak Ridge's transuranic waste inventory. To date, 94% of the site's contact handled waste and 78% of its remote handled waste have been processed and shipped for permanent disposal. Shipments will continue over the next year. Key infrastructure projects are also moving forward. Construction will continue on the mercury treatment facility at Y-12, which will open the door for major mercury cleanup and help protect the nearby creek. And don't miss this, OREM is set to open the new K-25 Interpretive Center this year. Visitors to the Manhattan Project National Historical Park can enjoy a great view of the K-25 building's 44-acre footprint and learn about the former uranium enrichment facility that helped end World War II. If you want to learn more about those projects, there's an opportunity on February 20th at the Kingston Community Center. DOE is hosting an open house event from 5.30 until 7 p.m. to discuss its current projects in much more detail. 
The federal and contractor project managers leading these efforts will be on hand to talk about the work underway and answer questions. Another significant project in 2025 is the Groundwater Field Demonstration Study, marking the next big step for Oak Ridge's new disposal facility. OREM and UCOR completed field work and started monitoring groundwater levels in recent weeks at the future Environmental Management Disposal Facility site. This marks the second phase of the project. It follows early site prep that employees finished five months ahead of schedule and more than $12 million under budget. The current disposal facility is 85% full and EMDF is needed to complete the cleanup needed at Y12 and ORNL. Crews cleared 30 acres and installed a cover system with monitoring focused on gathering measurements during the next two wet seasons. In East Tennessee, that lasts from December until April. The site's federal project director explains how this system works. It's three parts. The bottom part, which you don't see, is a geomembrane liner, which cuts off the water from rain so that there's no recharge to the surface. Then there's the green part that you see behind me, which is kind of an artificial grass that slows down the water as it's rowing off the site so that we didn't have to have as large of sedimentation ponds. And then there's a sand that's on top of that that holds down this turf. And again, the purpose of this is to cut off the recharge to the water so that the water levels will be more like they'll be once the landfill is uh, constructed. A data collected will help finalize the design. Construction on EMDF is scheduled for completion in 2030. We've got some big stories planned for you next month. We'll explore how Isotex in-house repairs in the machinery used to process U-233 is saving both time and money. We'll have that and much more. And remember, if you work in environmental management at Oak Ridge, keep us in mind if you come across a story. We're always looking for news tips and story ideas from across the reservation. We'd love to feature what matters to you right here. Email your idea to oakridgeem at orem.doe.gov. And don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts. We post this show on our YouTube channel. Plus, if you liked a topic we covered here, we often have more on it over there. You can also follow EM News on our Facebook, Instagram, and X accounts. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And new episodes come out the last Wednesday of the month. You can watch on air or online, same places as always. We'll see you next month from the EnergyCast studio in Oak Ridge.